Hi Notion is. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a template for your Notion AI prompts so that if you want to create documents and pre-fill some of the contents of the document and have Notion AI fill in some of the rest of the content, you can do that, which looks a little bit like this. So all you need to do is press space and open the AI query box, paste your prompt template into the box here, and then hit enter and watch the AI write a job description for you in this example. Obviously Notion AI is a great tool for summarizing meeting notes, improving your writing and creating outlines for new content. But sometimes you need to write text in a set format or populate a template. Maybe you're a recruiter who needs to write lots of job descriptions or a salesperson who needs to draft emails. In my case, I'm working with a client who's a recruiter at the moment and they asked me about creating job descriptions. So I thought I'd give this a try. I must admit when I first tried it, I wasn't expecting this to work, but it does. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a template for these requests. They include predefined text, like a generic list of apps that the candidate should be able to use, along with variable details, like a salary and location. And when you use this template, all you need to do is update the variables, which you can see at the top of the page here, and they were at the top of the, this page here as well, so that the AI knows what those variables are, and then submit the request, and it will write the rest of the document for you. So if we scroll down this page here a little bit more, uh, first of all, you can see the prompt written just here. Basically, um, this is made up of uh, the text that should be included in every version of this document combined with text that is enclosed in either curly brackets, square brackets or round brackets. And the curly brackets enable you to specify your predefined variables, which will be updated based on the content that's entered by the user. So that's this list here. And basically uh, these different symbols here just enable you to let the AI sort of pick out which content it should be working with and what it should do with particular types of content. So the contents of the curly brackets are the predefined variables, which are basically referencing this list of variables just here. So you'll be updating uh, the text that's not bold in this list with the details that you would need to sort of adjust depending on uh, you know which job description you're creating. The contents in the square brackets, uh, like the content just here, are placeholders which will be replaced by the AI and then the content in the round brackets like here and here just tells the AI what format you're expecting it to uh, create this content uh, that's listed in the square brackets uh, in. The reason why we need to specify the format like this is uh, obviously by its nature, uh, Notion AI and all AI tools are reasonably creative. And so Notion AI, for example, was creating a list of checkboxes for the list of responsibilities when I first started trying to create these prompts. And so you really want to be able to say specifically uh, what format you're expecting just there. And then the output of these requests then will look a little bit like this, where the green text here is the predefined template content that you had included in your prompt. The blue text is the content that the AI has taken from your list of variables, and the orange text has been generated by the AI. As you can see, uh, this particular example is missing this paragraph here. So it's worth bearing in mind that as with all AI, the results are not always going to be uh, perfectly consistent and you might need to submit a prompt again in order to get the right outcome. But this template does give you pretty consistent results. And so hopefully using it will save you a lot of time when you're completing these repetitive tasks, uh, even if you have to click resubmit a couple of times first. So to use the template, all you should need to do is just copy this prompt here and then obviously customize it. 
You don't need to uh, make this text bold at all. I've just done that to make the uh, variable stand out a little bit more. I'm not using the write a job description prompt here, which you can see if you scroll down to this list of options and then select job description. Just because if we do, then Notion will include its own set of prompts in the background to specify a particular format uh, for the output, which we don't want to do, uh, obviously, because we're specifying our own format here in instead. And the other thing to bear in mind is it's generally best if you save the output as an AI block, or at least that's what I'd recommend doing, uh, because if you do, and you realize that there's a typo in the content that you inserted, or you just need to make a slight tweak to the prompt, you can just click on this box here, uh, update your prompt and have the AI recreate uh, that content for you. The other slightly strange behavior that I've noticed is if we remove uh, the prompt block from our demo page here, just to show you what happens, and we submit this request again, then you're going to see that the format that the AI uses is less consistent and it has a harder time understanding what you're expecting it to produce. So obviously the contents of that prompt toggle was just the prompt itself, which is the same prompt that you submit when you make the request. But for whatever reason, Notion AI can see the rest of the content on the page and including the prompt on the page does give you a more consistent format when you make these requests. So that's basically all you need to know uh, in order to use this functionality. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to leave them in the comments. I hope you found this as interesting as I did. When you discovered that this is something that Notion AI can do, it definitely makes me wonder what else is capable of understanding when we make these sort of requests. And I'll be experimenting with the tool a lot more in the future as it continues to improve and also with automations and other Notion tips on the channel. So stick around and I'll see you soon.